now is said to be, best of luck, said to be a man's best friend, dog, fabulous companion, we all know that. But over the next four weeks, Pamela Flood is in with us. She's reporting on some of the most important roles that our four-legged friends get up to. I love the fact that you're doing this. What I love, love the, the fact that I'm doing it. I'm, I'm the biggest dog lover I know and I, I couldn't think of any nicer way to spend my time. Just lovely. Fascinating and this is celebrating stuff. dogs that are beyond just being a house pet. Absolutely. So what, yeah. what are you doing yeah. the first week? What okay, the very first week what we, um, we're looking at this week is therapy dogs. And I know they're just so gorgeous um, and basically they're dogs who are used, um, were brought to um, say nursing homes, caring associations and such like. And it's just okay. basically to cheer the residents up, to, you know, to calm people. It's been proven that petting, you know, animals, dogs, cats, whatever, uh, can lower your blood pressure and Great. just boost your self-esteem. I've seen it. I've seen it in action. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, let's have a look at you over good. the past week. <laughs> Hello. 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 Definitely the lady of the house, loves her comfort, loves her attention. So Sinead, tell me about the training that's involved for PETA. You have to do a bit of training with the dogs in order to ensure that when you do the test that you can show that you have control over the dog. Because uh, you're going to visit institutions and organisations where there could be elderly people and it's important that you're able to control the dog while they're there. When you see them going into a room of uh, residents or children or anything like that, You'll see straight away that some people reach out, actually physically reach out, yeah. looking for the dog to come. And the dogs are quite smart and they know, I go for that lady or I go for that gentleman. Yeah. I mean, there's one particular lady who used to take off her slippers two feet up on top of Boomer and start rubbing into Boomer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas other people like, like Oakley's, because Oakley's very outgoing personality. Yeah. Leonberger is a breed that is particularly known for its affinity towards children and 2006 they won the European Children's Pet of the Year. They are absolutely fantastic with children, they absolutely love them. The kids just go nuts, it's like to see these big cuddly monsters coming in and they can pull and push and do anything with them like you know. And how often would you actually take them out for visits? Once a week, yeah once a week, yeah. <sighs> Tuesday's their day and uh, they go over nursing home about 3 o'clock in the afternoon which just coincides with um, <laughs> when the ladies get their, their tea yeah. and uh, usually oh, when the dogs go yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, they smell biscuits and smell yeah. treats <laughs> so they're well fed on a Tuesday over in the nursing home. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Jan, you coordinate the visits from our lovely dogs here. Do you see a visible difference in your residents after the dogs have paid a visit? They love them. They, they know Tuesdays and they know that the dogs come in and they are heartbroken the days they actually don't come in. Mm -hmm. Now we have some residents that have senile dementia, won't participate much but love to see the dogs coming in and you can see the smile on their face. And they go around the house to residents that don't come out of rooms, they you know, go around the whole house. <laughs> Were you afraid when you first saw these coming at you? Yeah. Really? No. no. The size of them wouldn't, no. wouldn't have no. put you off, no? No, no. No, because they're friendly. They're very friendly. Gentle giants. The fact that the dog's that bit bigger, I think, helps an awful lot. Yeah. You know, because they can relate with the dog, and the dog can get up nearer them. I think that's a plus side. These are wonderful dogs. They're fab, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I never saw them. Do you know, I never even heard of them until uh, this, this we came up. Yeah. Before, like I think they're gorgeous. Would you see the difference after a visit? Definitely. You know, they're much happier, much contenter. Especially people that have had animals all their life. And, I mean, this is their home now. And it's like having their own animal. You know, it's, it's amazing, really. Did you have a dog? Oh, dogs on my knife. Really? What yeah. kind of dogs? Cocker Spaniels. 
and uh, Stoner had was a little Jack Russell. Yeah. He died before I came into the hospital. Uh, you know? uh, and you missed them? All the crying noise, I cried uh, more over dogs. Uh, <laughs> sure. So I'm saying you were delighted to see these coming in, right? Oh, yes, they're lovely. They I love them, I think they're lovely. <laughs> yeah, they're so and lovely. They're so friendly, you know. <laughs> What beautiful dogs. Aren't they just amazing? It's, it's lovely to see uh, some, I mean, we've, there's so much negative publicity with regards to nursing homes at the moment or mm -hmm. the last while. So it's lovely to see something incredibly positive being done. It is, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, I think negative stories seem to be deemed more newsworthy than positive yeah. ones. And there are fantastic nursing homes out there and fantastic people who work in them. This is the lovely ladies we met there that day. And, you know, it's, it's, they want to make the residents happy, they want them to have a lovely time, and I just think it's such a lovely idea bringing the dogs in, because uh, almost all the residents, there's going to be a few of dogs, but pretty much all the residents love to see them come and get such a kick out of it. I mean, they're just fab. Are, the, are those dogs specially trained, or how, how does one, can any dog become part well, of Well, no, not any dog. Um, there isn't really any training as such. What happens if people think their dogs are suitable, and I think it's probably obvious to people if their dogs are suitable, um, gentle dogs who are affectionate and interactive without being obtrusive. You know, dogs who are not going to jump up on people. Mm. Uh, because some of the older people might be a little fragile. But they seem to, those dogs watching the video, they seem to just go around all the people yeah, themselves. It's like they know. It's it, like they're, they're intuitive. And it's your like turn, they go, your turn. and you may pet me now, and it's your turn, and it's your turn. And, and that wasn't just, just for the filming. That, no, that's genuine. Just in, it's like they instinctively know. They're just... You know, there for affection. They love the affection. They love to give it. From the moment I walked into their house, into Joan Sinead's house, the dogs were just, as you can see, they're up and they're like, love me, love me now. Not a problem. Aww. It's gorgeous. Great. So you were saying there, if your dog is appropriate, what would you do? Who would you contact? Well, you contact, um, PATA is the association, charity association. So you contact them and they'll meet with you and they will check you out and your pet and also they will look at your relationship together to make sure you're suitable. So okay. obviously a calm, gentle, affectionate dog. Right. And they need to make sure that you're very much in control of your pet. Yes. Because even the calmest dog in the world might have a little hissy fit. They might get freaked out with so many people you in never one know. room. Yeah. And for an institution, again, if they want to get involved, if they want the dogs to come to their place, I assume they contact that. They contact that, yeah. It's, it's a wonderful thing. What are you doing next week then? What dogs? Next week, uh, we're going to be out in Dublin Airport meeting the sniffer dogs. Oh, the sniffer dogs. Yeah, and there's so much more to it than I think people would presume. I mean, I think everybody knows sniffer dogs are used to find drugs. Yes. But there's also a dog that's used to find tobacco because, you know, people sneaking cigarettes in is a huge thing these days. And also a sniffer dog for cash, purely used for sniffing out cash. I don't know who has loads of cash these days, but obviously some people do. <laughs> and a sniffer dog for people going to New York coming to loads of clothes. Yes. That's it. Yeah. They'll have loads of them. Brilliant. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week doing Alrighty. that. More information on the therapy dogs that you saw today, if you think your dog's suitable or if you want to avail of the facility, it's on rte.ie forward slash the afternoon show, Airtel page 340. Now, Mark.